Very well. Now we have lesson three. In lesson three, we are going to use our right hand with more than two fingers, and it's going to be four fingers in one string. Uh, this is going to give us a good right hand position. Our right hand it should be hanging over the string. Our thumb is going to be in the, uh, sitting in the sixth string, just sitting right there, like doing nothing, just sitting over there, not pushing, not doing anything. While our fingers are going to be just hanging over there. Uh, the most of the hang, the better. You don't want to go this way because of this way you are carrying your hand and your thumb is going to go under your fingers. You don't want to be this way because your hand is going to be crooked. You just want to be in the right way. Once your fingers are across the string, so see, in this direction, so that's where we're going to have our fingers pointing. If we have it sideways, the, the fingers are going to have the tendency to slide along with the string and we don't want to do that. Why? Because the strings, uh, it doesn't have security in the in the finger in the string that you are pulling. Now your finger is going to play the first string and rest in the second string. Working like this, it doesn't work. Why? Because your fingers doesn't know where are they. And if you don't have your thumb in the right place, then you are just like running in the air. So to know where are you, you need to use your thumb as a tape measure to keep your index in the right place and your middle knowing that that's the right fingers. Notice that your finger is going to rest in the second string all the time and your right hand and your left hand is doing just nothing, just sitting over there like uh, resting. Hey, I'm here, but I'm not doing anything. Just like that. Okay, so but now we're going to put four fingers in the first string. And we're going to have the thumb in the first string. We are going to have the angular, the middle, and the index. And we're going to go like this. Thumb, angular, middle, index. Thumb, angular, middle, index. Thumb, angular, middle, index. And we have to keep that speed. Even if you are a, a, a great guitar player, you are going to benefit from these exercises because those are the ones that keep the two hands independent. You can multitask having two hands independent. If, you, if your hands are married to each other, it's not going to happen. You are going to have a hard time doing some difficult moves in the guitar. So when your hand gets used to this movement like this, then we're going to add the fingers in the other hand. Here we go. So we're going to add the thumb in the open, the annular in the one, the middle with the two, the index with the three, and the thumb with the four. Okay? So here we go again. Open with the thumb. Alright, so you, you start with the thumb open and you're going to start, uh, go to the end with the thumb in the 4th fret with the pinky. So one more time, thumb, angular, middle, and thumb again. Will be thumb, this is the right hand, right? Thumb, angular, middle, index, thumb. Okay, so notice that the left hand is going to go uh, thumb open, finger one, two, three, four. So then you can go. All right. When you can control that, you are going to go backwards. You're going to go thumb, angular, middle, index, thumb. Then you're going to go angular, middle, index. Angular, middle, index, thumb, angular, middle, index, thumb. At that way, in that way, you're going to uh, catch a speed like. And when you can control it in the first string, you're going to go to the second string. And then to the third. And eventually.
Thank you.